What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Fargo, and I just got done playing this update for the last couple hours, so I wanted to give you guys my initial impressions of all these uniforms and some of the quality of life changes that we got. For example, the change that we got with the uh, obelisk, and this is actually pretty damn cool. So when you go into change auto option, guys, you can actually take a look here and see that they've added a few things in these options. You know, we have the shield, we have a barrier, immune to all debuffs, but we also have like a rage proc. It's a mini rage, increased basic damage by 1% per 1% of critical rate. You don't see the dodge here but this is actually really nice i don't know how this is going to operate if it's going to be like a five second proc that stays engaged whether you cancel skills or not but i would assume that it is but i don't know until i actually test it and check it out but i'm pretty sure it's not going to be like a rage as far as the damage but this is a nice little quality of life change especially if you know whenever we were playing with these characters that help the, that help all these delay cancel skills to where they don't play with a proc or the damn so being able to have this option on a regular obelisk is actually a pretty good thing right so i'm going to be but I do like it. The next thing I want to touch on, guys, is Craven. So, unfortunately, guys, Craven is nothing like Kratos. He is, unfortunately, his damage is pretty lackluster. He doesn't have a lot of power. And that is a shame. You know, he does have a nice little kit as far as, you know, the way that you play him. He plays really well with a damage proc. You can actually cancel his awakened skill immediately. And, and that's pretty damn cool. And whenever you jump into the previous skill here and you take a look at what they've actually added as far as quality of life, it's actually pretty damn cool. Because what they've done here is we have a change option here where you click this, you can change your character. We've always had this option, but I really like how transparent and open it is. You also have combat settings where you change the AI on, turn on skill VFX, or turn skill down to display. That's nice. And then you have practice combo. Now, this is pretty damn cool that, and something that I really like because it actually shows you how to play the character. And, you know, this shows combat one right now, and it's showing the five, the three, and the four. Right now, the five is being highlighted. So if you time it right and you hit the fifth skill, the second one will highlight, I actually failed because I'm playing with this stupid mouse, right? A lot easier on my phone. But it kind of shows you the way that you'd want to do your combos. Now, I don't know how accurate this is actually going to be. I can tell you, this is actually the right rotation for uh, Craven. You actually want to go delay the five, and then you want to go three, and then four. It's how you want to play this character. Very, very simple to play with a proc. Very easy to play with a proc, but his damage is pretty damn lackluster, guys. He doesn't have a lot of power. And his, uh, when it, this other combo here, they have two combos. They show the awakened skill. You'll hit the awakened skill first, and then you would go five, three, four, right? And yeah, I failed because I'm playing on my emulator. But that's, that's pretty much how it goes, right? And it's pretty cool, right? It's a pretty cool, nice little change for people to learn how to use their characters, how to combo their characters, use their skills in the right order, in the right sequence. And I like that. I think that's a nice little quality of life change. Now, Craven, unfortunately, as I said earlier, guys, is he's pretty lackluster. He looks awesome. His skills are awesome. I mean, the five is pretty uh, reminiscent of what he already had. But I do like it. His three throws out some mist, right? With some spears pumping up out of the ground, right? The four, you got all the spears raining down. And he shoots a beam out of his chest, I guess, which is pretty cool. But his damage, guys, really is just lackluster. He doesn't seem to have a lot of power. Now, you know, I don't have a really good build on him, but the only thing that I think people are really going to want this uniform for is the fact that his uniform effect gives an increased base damage to supervillains and superheroes by 35%, but it only works on Sinister Six allies. Now, this is good for Sinister Six allies, but something you have to note is that there aren't very many Sinister Six allies. You have to remember that this is a speed supervillain. So if there's a villain tag in World Boss Legend, you'll be all, always be able to use this guy with the Sinister Six allies, right? If there's a speed, you'll always be able to use this guy as long as you know they don't have the super villain superhero restriction in there but dr octopus who has that tier four is a combat character so his support passive won't even work for dr octopus in his new uniform it will work in the superior octopus uniform because i believe that was a speed but yeah it's kind of the downfall to the character but yeah he pretty much got the shaft in my opinion because he's just a support for a specific type of character but i guess it's better than nothing and then we get into Dr. Octopus. Now, Dr. Octopus is a character that got the tier four. And I can tell you guys, this uniform alone, without, you know, going up above level 70, is very strong. It's got a lot of power. It's very, very proc friendly. I mean, the thing's pretty damn OP, guys. Uh, it's actually quite nice. And he's got a nice, simple rotation. Uh, unfortunately, his awakened skill still has to be 
Uh, yes, you still have to let it play out, unfortunately. It doesn't look like you could delay this thing, which kind of sucks. So, But you can still play with an obelisk. You just cancel the awaken skill, get all the buffs from it, and just go, you know, uh, three, five, four. And you'll get all the damage from all the skills all at once, which is pretty damn cool, right? Easy character to play with a proc, lots of power, and the uniform is definitely going to be worth buying if you want to make the most out of this character, because I do believe he's probably going to be an ABX meta. He is a villain, and he will do like the villain stages, like for example against Null, stage 39, but there's plenty of other characters that are level 80s that are villains that can easily do that, but I mean, so can he, right? He'll just be another one added to the list. This is really the thing that hurts him the most is the fact that he is a combat, but I think a lot of players are probably just going to, you know, level him up, level 72 level 80 and just use them for that unless they want to you know have the best character for abx i do believe for combat villain day he's probably going to be the abx meta guys we will see whether or not he's going to beat namor i mean i don't know if he will or not but we will find out you know there's going to be players that's going to be you know tier fouring him we're going to get to see whether or not he is but the uniform is very strong i actually would ask you guys to be a little reserved and just wait till some videos come out on that because i think that's really what you need to be paying attention to if you're somewhat competitive in abx as to whether or not this thing is actually going to be the meta uh, uniform because if it isn't then you just want to take level 72 stop at that and just use him as a damage dealer more than likely because he is a villain guys and he's going to be very restricted in world boss legend because of that all these characters are and then we have red goblin now red goblin looks amazing guys i think he looks phenomenal i love how he looks he's awesome aesthetically super pleasing really wonderful but his damage guys i tried to take him into stage 39 like i did dr octopus and dr octopus could easily do it uh red goblin with a rage guys with a rage was having a lot of problems his damage just wasn't there it just wasn't good enough however in abx speed villain day which is today he's going to be the meta he already was the meta this thing just makes him a little bit stronger and i want to throw out a little shade at Ned marvel because Whenever I tier 3 this character, guys, he had 42,000 energy attack. He's using his leadership right now, so he's up to 49,000, but he had 42,000 base with my physical attack or my energy attack on my cards. Whenever I took him to tier 3, I put up a screenshot for you guys. He only went up to 45,000. He only got 3,000 energy attack whenever I tier 3 him. That is horrendous, guys. I cannot believe that that's all the stab bump that they gave this character. It honestly wouldn't have hurt to gave him a little bit more. I mean, really, Net Marble? You're going to give him that small of a stab bump? I mean, when we tier 3 these characters and we put these resources in, them granted we have tier fours now we want these characters to you know to get a little something out of them right and yeah he's going to be the meta but man would it really have hurt to give him a little bit more energy attack three thousand energy attack jesus that is terrible and guys he's not prop friendly you're going to want to play with him with a rage and that's kind of the thing about this character unfortunately he's fun He's cool, and he's got insane animations. So, like, when you look at his animations, you'll see the second skill, which is what I normally start with. I'll hit the two. He throws out those bombs, and then they have a delay reaction, and they blow up. The five, he throws out those bombs in the air, kind of delays, and then they blow up afterwards. And he does have invincibility, so he doesn't get guard broken because he's going to have super armor. And then the three, he jumps up. He does throw out some tentacles. That is cool. And then the four, he kind of swirls around all over the place, throwing bombs everywhere really really awesome cool looking skills man like i'm i'm digging it guys i'm digging it right i'm digging it. oh i clicked on the wrong button there but whenever he has his tier three available it's going to look kind of similar to his fourth skill so we'll just kind of run through the skills here there we go let these all play out and we'll just show the tier three because the tier three is pretty damn cool like I like this thing. He's just waving around all over the place. There's a damage proc on this thing. It does a lot of damn damage. I mean, and this is why you're going to tier three the character for the tier three itself, because he doesn't really get that much of a stat bump, except for his HP. He gets a big HP bump, but he doesn't get a very good energy attack bump, which is wacky. But the rotation I'm doing right now, guys, is I go two, slide across, throw out the bombs, delay the five, and then three, four. And that's pretty much the rotation. I have a lot of lag, guys, because we're playing on my emulator. 
but that's pretty much the rotation that I'm doing. I'm not saying that's the best rotation. There might be better rotations, but that's what I'm doing right now. And I was able to hit 9.4 million in ABX, but I don't have a complete proper build. His critical damage is still, you know, 20% shy, but the critical rate and dodge is fairly leveled up. And that's going to be the thing about Red, uh, Red Goblin, guys, is that you are going to get this character. You're going to get this uniform mainly for abx i haven't tested whether how strong this uniform is compared to his uh this uniform here i haven't actually tested it i don't really know how much stronger it actually is but i do know when you tier three them you're not really getting much stat bumps as far as energy energy attack you're just getting that tier three so really for abx is why i would use this character but also guys it's also because now that he has a tier three you can use this leadership to your advantage, guys. It applies to all allies. So if there's a speed requirement or there's a villain requirement, you'll be able to use this guy as a leadership, and that's actually really nice. And then his, uh, what is it? Let me look here. I think it's, is it a four-star passive? Yeah. And then applies to villain allies, increased base damage to super villains and superheroes by 45%. So this is another reason why you would tier three him, right? So he's really like a very, very good support for abx is what it look like what it's looking like he's going to be so all in all guys you know i feel like craven kind of got the shaft you know even though he looks like kratos he looks like a total badass he's pretty much just going to be a support for a niche audience which is the sinister six characters green goblin uh definitely i think is going to be a must for a lot of players to tier three because he does have a really great leadership he does have a really great support passive and he's going to be and he's an abx meta on top of that uh dr octopus i think players might end up skipping him they might buy the uniform because the thing is strong guys he does do a lot of damn damage and it is super super proc friendly but considering we already have combat villains in the game we already have hulk and namor that have tier fours so a lot of players that might already have one of those characters and carnage they might say screw it on this one i don't really know it's really up to you as to whether or not you think he's really good but i would wait and see guys and see how well he performs in abx is he going to be stronger than namor that's really the thing that everybody's going to be waiting on so until those videos come out and you actually care about abx that's what i would be looking at as far as whether or not to buy the dr octopus uniform so guys let me know what you think about the sinister six update and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m dj plus 7 time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody take care